Studies have shown that the SARS-CoV-2 is transmitted through an airborne droplet and contact with contaminated surfaces and so abrupt it has become an alarming situation worldwide. The biggest question arises here, what crucial impact it can have on us? To know that, first we need to quest how it invades our cells. A virus enters in human through our mucosal membrane attached to a specific receptor on a respiratory cell called ACE2. Wait, let me simplify. If we think human body is a house and a virus is a rubber, then the receptor would be a doorway for it to inject its genome using a spike-like potential projection. But the real robbery begins here. Once it's in, it hijacks a human cell to replicate itself. But how? The mugger is smart. It directly accesses ribosome in cytoplasm to transfer its genome into its viral protein. And it is done by an enzyme known as RDRP. Then these protein structures are taken in the vesicle by a packaging structure known as Golda apparatus. Then it merges with an outer cell membrane and finally prints out of our cell to invade other adjoining cells. Yet our body is designed to fight back. Yes, immune system! It consists of armies to identify and destroy the virus. But sometimes our own immune system becomes our enemy because our cell communicate to a specific chemical which is known as cytokines. When it is triggered by these invaders, it alerts our immune system to attack the virus. But at worst, the virus trick these army and they began to destroy the healthy cells. The situation is autoimmune disorder which can result in irreversible damage in lungs. If it went more severe, it can lead up to pneumonia or even death. But still, hope is there because all these factors depend on your age, immune responses, etc. Even vaccines are still on trial and potent drugs are showing the best result it can. So it's on our hand how we are going to flatten the curve. So wash your hand for 30 seconds but don't use any antiviral product because normal soap can destroy the lipid layer of virus. Don't forget, we already defeated so many viruses and this also we can. Only social isolation could cut the virus transmission. And this is how we can win the battle.